frame up will work. Can't miss. Why all the complications? Why don't we just hire somebody to shoot her? <laughs> it's been tried again and again. We even tried to have him licked in a fist fight by two of the best men we could find. He whipped both of them in less than a half an hour. Now uh, we'll frame him. The mayor will take his star and his guns away. And he ought to be easy killing. Yeah. Herp in Dodge City without his guns. I'll pay for the funeral. Life and Legend of Wyatt Earp, starring Hugh O'Brien, presented by... The job of Marshall in a western cow town of the 1870s had a brief life expectancy. Wyatt Earp had lived through the taming of Ellsworth and Wichita by the speed of his guns and the skill of his fists. But Dodge City was bigger and tougher. Hoodlums, drunken cowhands, and a few businessmen who wanted a wide open town had determined to get rid of Marshall Earp by killing him. Thus far, alertness and luck had been with the Marshall. They had been with Wild Bill Hickok, too, until an assassin's bullet crashed into his head. In the early autumn of 1876, Marshall Earp was closer to death than he had ever been before. What his enemies planned for him was no face-to-face -face showdown with a hired gunfighter. It was a plot far more subtle and deadly. Ellie, you're driving me crazy! Easy! Oh. No, I'm... Temper! Me, I've never gone through anything like this in my life! Now, do you love me or don't you? More than ever! Oh, you haven't sold the saloon. Well, it takes a little time to find the right buyer. Oh, quit stalling, Kelly. It took me two days to sell my dance. Oh, now get out. No, I'll sell it. I'll sell it. When? Well, just give me a couple more days to find... No, today. But, honey... Don't try to sweet talk me. When I agreed to marry you, we said we'd get out of the dance hall and the saloon business, didn't we? Be reasonable, Dora. The only real good offer I've had is from Butch McGuire. So? Well, he's a newcomer to town. I don't know much about him. Can't sell the Alhambra to just anybody. Goodbye, Kelly. But what if McGuire's a crook? A saloon is a saloon, and it's either the Alhambra or me, and you've chosen the Alhambra. No, I'll sell it today. Well, get going, then. Ah, that's proof I'm crazy about you. Ah, Dora. Now, don't try to sweet-talk me. We've had enough of this mushing around. We'll have time for it later on. Now, go sell the saloon. I will. I will. Now, if you can reform, so can I. Prove it. Well... I'll be right back here with the money. I got just as strong a character as you got. Bring back the money and the contract. Please. I will. That I will. Ah, Mr. Kelly. You look kind of discouraged. What's the matter? I want no pity from you. I don't know what I came here for. All I ever get from you is good, sound, moral advice. If there's anything I hate, that's it. Well, why don't you quit stalling and sell the Alhambra? She told you. Mm -hmm. A personal, sacred matter, and she tells you. Miss Dora's a good friend of mine. And did she tell you I gotta sell my place to McGuire? Well, he made you the best offer by $5,000, didn't he? But I don't know very much about the man, Wyatt. I've always run a good, honest place. Barring the use of an occasional Mickey Finn to keep the customers in order and save you a bit of trouble arresting them. McGuire's going to have to run a decent place. If he tries any tricks, I'll close them. Anyway, this is all just an excuse. Huh? Uh, you want a welch on Miss Dora. The old Nick's too strong in you. Indeed, now. I'll go over there and sign the papers this very minute. All right, there's the door, and you know where the Alhambra is. Are you trying to rush me? No, but I do feel sorry for Miss Dora. How's that? Well, here she goes and sells her nice little dance hall and buys a home on the other side of town, and you just back out. Well, selling a dance hall ain't the same as selling a place like the Alhambra. It's the same principle. No, it is not. Well, that saloon's been home to me, Wyatt. I like the smell of it and the noise and the talk my customers bring in from the trails. You not being a drinking man, you got no heart for the Alhambra. It's been my very life these five years. 
They'll miss old Jim, the boys will. I feel like I'm deserting them. Well, all right, then don't sell it. And give up, Dora? Well, sure, why not? That's the real Wyatt Earp talking. A whited sepulcher. Trying to break up the holy bonds of matrimony. Well, I'm selling that saloon and I'm marrying Dora. And the likes of you can't stop me. Hello, McGuire. Oh, hello. Unexpected here. Good. Have the boy tie the horse up. Hey. Come on inside. I want to talk to you. There ain't nothing to be that afraid of. Lerp and I aren't exactly friendly. You can never tell who'll listen and carry tales. Is Kelly gonna sell? Well, he's got to sell. If you owned a saloon and Dora Hand agreed to marry you if you sold, <laughs> well, how long could you wait, Brother Albright? Well, I'm a happily married man. Sure, sure. Jim ain't so happy about it, though. He feels so bad, they tell me he's drinking his own whiskey. That's what I figured. I don't think it hurt his brain. Doesn't have to. Just well-oiled and anxious to get it over with. Here's the bill of sale and the transfer of the real estate. Hmm. Does it have to be this long? Kelly might get suspicious. I know, Jim. It'll be a wrench for him, parting with the Alhambra. He won't even bother to read the inventory of the stock and furnishings. In matters of business, Jim is a little careless and uh, impulsive. Now, here's the really important item hidden on the middle of page three. And to Wyatt Earp, who will have a 20% interest in the business, hey, won't we need Earp's signature on this to make it legal? I'll take care of that later. Forgery, huh? Well, Earp will deny it. We don't have handwriting experts out here, Mr. McGuire. I've got a clerk working for me that can make Earp's name pass on a bank check. Yeah, but we're handing him 20% of a good business. Temporarily. Just temporarily. <laughs> I'm lending you half the price with no interest. But if you get cold feet... Oh, no, no. I'll make the deal. You really must despise Earp. He's cost me thousands. We don't need a church deacon running a closed town. A wide open town is good for business. Well, I'll go along with that. It's a deal. All the way. All the way. Just one, straight. You made up your mind to do it? Yeah. Come on. McGuire will keep you on, Soapy. You and all the boys. Thanks. It won't be the same. Well, what's the difference? One saloon's the same as another. No, sir. This was more than a saloon the way you run it, Mr. Kelly. Car hands come busting through them doors like hungry kids in their mama's kitchen. When the next outfit drives to Dodge and someone yells, Hey, where's Kelly? I sure hate to tell him. Ah, shut up. McGuire talks like a good, honest Irishman. Yeah, but he ain't no Jim Kelly. He'll sell him good stuff. He won't cold deck the cards. If he does, Earp will close him. And if he sees they had too much, you throw him out. Same as I always done. You reckon he'll stake him to grub and tobacco money and pay the doctor bills if they're broke and sick and... Shut up, I said. See who it is. Mr. McGuire. Let him in. I'll be in the back room. You sure you don't want to change your mind? No. 
Let him in. Come in, Mr. McGuire. Oh, hello, Soapy. He's in the back room. Thanks. 14,000, 15,000. There, better count it yourself. I counted it. The place is yours. Now, Mr. Kelly, your signature in two places, the bill of sale and the real estate transfer. I don't need all this stuff, neither do you. You paid the money, we shake hands. Look, I had to borrow part of the money from the bank. As far as you and I go, we shake hands. But the bank wants your John Henry here and on the last page there. Uh, all right. There, it's done. You keep all my boys hired. Why, of course. That's part of the deal. Well, place is yours. I'm going out the back door. Good luck, Mr. Kelly. Good luck to yourself. I don't know if you can come out to the new house right away. What's the matter, Millie? <laughs> Mr. Jim Kelly. He's intoxicated. All right, thanks. Yeah. Charlie has wonderful work. Can you tell the difference? Charlie's a genius. Here, I've uh, got some private business with Mr. Albright. Yeah. Now, let me get this straight. If Earp starts to give me a rousting at the Alhambra, I take these to Mayor Hoover. Hoover fires Earp. Earp gets sore and comes down to forget me at the Alhambra. Then the boys start a free-for-all gunfight. And Earp accidentally gets killed. <laughs> Pretty slick. And I think it'll work. You think it'll work? You know it'll work. Oh, no, you don't. You've had enough. Now, have some tomatoes. Thanks for coming so quick, Wyatt. What do you have? Too much. Jim's not a drinker, and he's got himself into a dirty sulk. He's mourning about that saloon. You want me to take him on back to town, let him sleep it off? No, I want you to try to help me sober him up so he can catch the 11 o'clock stage to Kansas City. Kansas City? Well, I've got to get him out of town. If he stays in town, he, he's, he's going to sober up and try to buy that saloon back tomorrow. Come on, help me, please. Jim? Jim? <laughs> time in Kansas City. You can buy hardware for the new store. Uh, now, Wyatt, you keep an eye on the old place now. That's a promise, Mr. Kelly. Now, I want you to stay at least a week in Kansas City, Kelly. Uh, bye, darling. So long, Kelly. Now, about the Alhambra. Come on, they're waiting for you. Watch your step. Here we go. Oh. Bye, everybody. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Do you think he'll stick to it? Well, I sure hope so. And why do you Wyatt. think that... Why? There's trouble at the Alhambra. Oh? Soapy and one of the dealers, they threatened to kill McGuire. Excuse me, Miss Doyle. Oh, uh, do you want Hal to drive you home? No, I'm all right, thanks. Don't you worry about it. And the deal was for you to keep us all on. It didn't call for me to cut drinks or for the dealer to cold deck poker and ferro. All right, quit. It ain't that easy, McGuire. 
We got a good reputation in this town. The Alhambra's an honest joint. Kelly never should have sold it to you. I'm warning you. Open up, it's Marshal Irvin. Thanks for getting here so quick. I want these men arrested. What for? Well, he pulled a gun on me, and they both threatened to give me a pistol weapon. He ordered me to water the drinks, Mr. Earp. Take a look at these cards, Marshal. Yeah, they're shaved or printed phony. He ordered him to cold deck Mr. Kelly's customers. They're shaved, all right. I'm closing you, Mr. McGuire. That's what you think. Why, you... Take it easy. No sense in starting any trouble. Yeah, but he's a real bad one, Marshal. Where's Mr. Kelly? He went away on business. I'll handle this. Tell the customers you're closing for the night. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, there you are. All right, Mr. McGuire. Now, what's so important that you have to get me out of bed? Herp and I bought Kelly's place. What? Marshal Herp bought... Oh, no fairy stories, please. There's his signature right on the deal. Uh, where's Marshal Herp? He'll be back in a couple of minutes. Good. He's due now. It looks to me, Mr. Mayor, as though they pulled a fast one. They sell me the Alhambra. Then Earp frames me into a charge of crooked work. Kelly comes back and buys the place for a song. The place is closed. What can I do? I gotta sell. I see. Yes, it could happen that way. Yeah. Oh, hello, Wyatt. Well, Mr. Mayor. I want to question Mr. Earp in private. He'll deny everything. But there's the proof in black and white. I'll wait outside. He says you own 20% of the Alhambra. Looks like your signature in two places. That's a good forgery. Who did it? Well, the only one in town that could have done it this well is Mr. Albright's clerk. He served time forging checks in Oklahoma. Albright, eh? Well, that makes everything clear. I'll get that scoundrel if... Oh, wait a minute, sir. Let's try and figure out what... what he wants you to do with me. Now, if you fired me, I could still keep my guns, but... if you just suspended me, you'd take my badge and my guns until after an investigation. Now, let's go along with their game and suspend me. But, Wyatt, how can you be... Well, Albright doesn't want me fired. He wants to set me up for a killing. Without your star and guns... And you expect me to... I want to catch Albright. Now, you uh, call Mr. McGuire in here, suspend me, and tell him that you're going to have a full investigation. After you're dead? Now, Wyatt. I know it's risky. It's the only way to get the goods on Albright. He hired Clay Allison to gun me. All I did is punch his face. And this time, I really want to discourage him. We've got to go along with this plan. If we don't, Albright's going to keep trying until he does get me. But without your guns, you'll be a sitting duck. Mr. Mayor, I've never been a sitting duck. Now, please do me this favor. Favor? Well, yeah. all right. Mr. McGuire. Huh? Mr. Herb denies everything. <sighs> He says the signature was forged. You believe that? I don't know what to believe. But pending a full investigation, I have no choice but to suspend Mr. Earp. Take off your star and guns. You're the mayor. But I'm not going to need my guns. I'm going to beat your brains out with my fists. Now you keep your saloon closed and get out of town. You heard him threaten me. The Alhambra stays open. And don't come down there looking for me. You might get into trouble. You better keep him here till he cools off. Uh, yes. Uh, Mr. Earp, you're under temporary arrest uh, for your own good. You keep the Alhambra closed. You're not the marshal now. My place will be running high, wide, and handsome the rest of the evening. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. 
Yeah, well, here we go, fellas. Uh, she's open, boys, wide open. Earp's been suspended, so he ain't marshal no more. You can all wear your guns, and tonight, the fun's all on Butch McGuire. Come on in. Well, now you know the whole story. Try and talk some sense into his head. I can't. Why take chances, Wyatt? Yeah, Mayor Hoover will fix things in the morning. We'll go in there with guns and clean the whole place out. No, I'll do it my way. But you won't get a chance to use your fist on McGuire. Him and his gang will stage a fake free-for-all. Yeah, they'll cut you down and say it was accidental. Whose life is it? Go along with them, boys. I appoint you his bodyguards until he's reinstated as marshal. No, you stay out of it. Now, you promised me I could handle this. You gonna back out on that? No. Thank you, sir. You heard about it, huh? Yes, and you're not going near that place. Jim will never forgive me if I let anything happen to you. You want Mr. Kelly to stay in the saloon business? No, why? But you... Well, listen to me, Miss Doyle. I try to let the other fellow make the mistakes. I guess that's why I've gone on living. Yes, but you can't go after McGuire empty-handed. Isn't that foolish? Look, Pete Albright tricked Kelly into selling to a hoodlum. Now, if I can just get the goods on Albright, the court will seize the business. The court won't sell it back to Mr. Kelly, I promise you that. I got quite a stake in both of you, you know. Yes, but not at the cost of your own life. Well, I'm not quite that sentiment. Anyway, there's kind of a catch in this whole thing that Mr. Albright and uh, McGuire don't know about. I guess Mayor Hoover, my deputy, should have known, but it kind of slipped a memory. Now, you just go on home and write a nice long letter to Mr. Kelly. Earth's coming. No guns, no star. Good. Business as usual, fellas. Everybody pretend we don't know. Who starts it? I do. Yeah, well, then I better get... Get hold of yourself. Earp ain't got arms ten yards long. Yeah, I know, but... Uh... You stay here. Sit down. All right, Mr. McGuire, take off your guns and step outside. Why, sure. Start shooting, all of you. No, Mr. Albright, you start. Or I will. I got two loads left. Who's next? Deputies, arrest her. He's not the marshal. He's got no right to carry a gun. Mr. Albright, you framed me. I want you to admit that. Oh. You've got one good hand left. I'll wait until you draw. No. No, don't. <laughs> Mr. Albright and Mr. McGuire didn't know I was a deputy federal marshal. They're under arrest for forging my name. It's a federal offense. What about the rest of them, Wyatt? Take them all to jail. I want this place cleaned up. Clem, pick up the guns. Come on. Gun, Gun belts off. Go on. Move. Come on, you can walk the double parties. Take him to the dock. Are you all right, White? Just like old times. Mr. Kelly, what are you doing back? I've always been here. He says he came back to get some souvenirs. Now, what would he be doing with a bunch of souvenirs from a saloon? Nothing, and he knows it. It doesn't belong to you, Mr. Kelly. Now, the court's going to be seizing this whole place. That's all right, Kelly. You've still got Dora. That's right, Dora. Oh, he cleaned up the country, the old Wild West country. He made law and order prevail.
and none can deny it. The legend of Wyatt forever will live on the trail. Oh, Wyatt Earp, Wyatt Earp, brave, courageous, and bold. Long live his fame, and long live his glory, and long may his story be 